Hey Procreators, it's Kristen and in this tutorial we're going to do some chalk lettering and this was, let me just unlock my iPad here, this style is inspired by uh, Rachel Manzano on um, YouTube and this style was requested from a member of the Procreate Lettering Club so I do take requests from the members um, and we're going to look at how to create this. So let's go ahead and add a new canvas. Um, you can create whatever size you're um, happy with. I'm just for the sake of the tour tutorial gonna go with a, a green size. Um, and you can make your own chalkboard background. I have made several that you can download with this tutorial. Um, I'm just gonna quickly show you how to make them. So I'm just going to fill a layer with black and then in a new layer with white, I go and you can use brushes um, that come with Procreate, the default brushes. And let's see, let's go under some textures, maybe some grunge, uh, have the size all the way up and the opacity about halfway down and just kind of add some chalk stains to that. If it's too white, that's when I go into the layer, tap the N and turn down the opacity. Um, in a new layer, I might wanna add some like chalk speckled dust and that might be under spray paints, under flicks. So um, let me turn the size of that down. You can add as many or as little as you want. And then again, turn that opacity down. So you can go ahead and play around with it that way. But let me get rid of these layers here and I will show you some of the ones that I created. So I have them saved in my files and um, there are 20 of them. Um, and they all have a little bit of a different texture to them. Uh, so you can find one you like on there. You can also find, I'm sorry, you can hear probably hear my pet rats in the background, um, on uh, Pixabay or Unsplash. Oops. Uh, you can search there for chalkboard and you can download and use some of these blank ones as well. Um, but I'm going to go back and use, let's just say I want to use this one. So I'm going to um, hit the share icon and choose copy. Then go back to Procreate. And I'm going to create a canvas and choose clipboard. And that will um, put it into a layer for me. Now I'm going to add a new layer. Um, let me just rename this one to background. Okay, and then add a new layer on top. So we're going to write, hey June, and the um, hey that I'm going to use, instead of writing it out in black letters, I'm actually just going to add some text. So I'm gonna go to the wrench, add, and do add text. And then I'm gonna pick a font that I like by tapping on the A's. And the font that I'm using is called Full Bloom Sans. So I'm just gonna make this bigger and turn the size up. And I'm gonna to go to the keyboard and write, hey. I still want that a little bit bigger. Let me select all of that. And I want it to be outlined like that. So when you're finished, hey, literally. Okay, so that looks good. But because it's got a hard white line, I don't want that. I want that to have a chalky line. So I'm actually gonna trace that with a chalky type brush. So I'm gonna turn that opacity down and add a new layer to use for chalk. And again, Procreate has a lot of brushes that you could use. 
that have a chalky effect. So like in the um, sketching option, there are several good ones that you can use as well as the charcoals. There are a lot here. My favorite here is the vine charcoal. So I'm going to be using that. And I'm just going to trace that. Let me turn that up a little bit. And just trace around my letters. Um, I've tested quite a few chalk brushes that I've purchased. Um, and Procreate does have some, some good uh, default ones that it comes with. But um, the ones that I've purchased, I do have um, one set that stands out to me as better than all the others. And that one is by uh, Molly Super Thorpe, her chalk lettering brushes. So I will add the link to that for you guys in case you want to pick those up. Okay, so now that we have that lettered, I can turn off our text layer. And now I want to make it um, so the, like 3D letters, but coming to a point. So to do that, I'm gonna turn on the drawing guide grid by going to the wrench, canvas, drawing guide, and then let's do edit drawing guide. And down here, we're gonna choose perspective. So it's telling you to tap to create a vanishing point. So I want um, my vanishing point to be down here on the bottom. And now you can see, let me turn the color to white so you can see it's a little bit better. You can see it's created these lines that are all going to this point. So that is gonna give me a guide on um, how I want to draw my 3D. And I'm also going to turn on this assisted drawing and then tap done. So now the assisted drawing, whenever I draw a line, let me go to back to the sketching and let me choose the, no, let me choose a 6B pencil. Yeah. So it's going to um, just draw on those lines. If I try to draw like a curvy line, it's not going to let me. So it's gonna take all my lines to that vanishing point. So what I'm gonna do is start on the corner of each letter and then just draw down to that vanishing point. And I'm just going to do, on there. I'm just going to do, um, one letter um, in each layer and I'll show you why in a second and first of all <laughs> I just messed up by doing that on the same letter as hey I want that on a different layer so let's add a layer and tap it and choose drawing assist so those lines straight lines are on again and then add a new layer for the E. Tap it and choose Drawing Assist. And the reason we're doing it on different layers is so you can differentiate um, which line belongs to which letter. And Drawing Assist for the Y. And if I would draw a line there, you wouldn't see it. Same as there, so I'll just leave that be. Okay, when you're done doing that, we can go back into the wrench and turn off our drawing guide. So now, um, I'm going to turn off the Y and the E and just leave the H. And I'm going to add a new layer. And now I'm gonna add some shading to each of these. And again, these are each gonna be on their own layers. 
So a good brush to add some shading is the Bonobo Chalk. Bonobo, Bonobo, I don't know if I'm saying it wrong, just correct me. So I have that set to about 5%. And then I'm just going to shade the top part of that shape of each triangle. Oops. And then I'm gonna use the smudge tool. If you hold down on it, it will select uh, the brush that's the same as the brush that you were just using. So the Bonobo Chalk. And I'm gonna smudge that down. and then um, wherever I go out of the lines I'm just gonna take an eraser I'm gonna use the hard airbrush and make that smaller and then just erase outside of those lines Okay, and erase there. And then I will go on and add a new layer. Go back to my brush for the next one. And go to the smudge and smudge that down. And I just keep working it until It's a kind of like a gradient that I want. Okay, and then take the eraser. It might help if you go in and turn off that first one so you can really see where your lines are. If you draw a straight line and hold it, it will snap into place like so. Okay, and then let's turn that off and add a new layer and repeat. And this one is actually part of this plane. So I'm going to add a little bit there also. Okay, and turn that one off, add a new layer. And this is kind of just giving it the effect of if, if you would, you know, color with chalk and then take your finger and smudge the chalk. That's kind of what we're doing here. Okay, turn that off, add a new layer. This is the last one for the H.
Okay, now we can turn all of those back on. And I can see that there's really a big gap there. So I'm gonna go to that layer and just add a little bit more smudge there. There's not so much of that cap. And then we can turn off um, the line layers that we uh, drew. And it's just going to leave um, our shadings. So let's take all of these and group them into one by pinching them together. So now they're all in one layer. And let's add some black. Um, let me go back to our charcoals and our vine charcoal brush. I'm just going to turn that down a little bit. And just add a line to separate them. Like that. Okay, now that we have that one finished, we can turn off that layer. We can get rid of this um, assisted layer and turn on our E and add a layer above it go back to white and let's do that all over with the E so I was under um, textures no I wasn't I was under sketching and bonobo bonobo <laughs> Somebody tell me how to pronounce that, please. Okay. And then go in and erase like before. some to here Okay, then turn off the assisted drawing and we could add some black to that under our charcoals. Okay. And we can combine, oh wait, that is combined. So let's delete the layer that had the lines. And we can turn this one off, turn on this line layer and add a layer above it and wash and repeat. So we want the um, sketching in white.
turn that one off so we can see the lines on this one. Turn that off, add a new one. turn those back on and delete those lines and we can pinch those three together to put them in their own layer um, and let's go to black and back to our charcoals fine charcoal and let's just add a black line this black line is optional I just like it to kind of differentiate the endings of these um, 3D parts. So this is overlapping the E and I don't want that. So I'm going to go to the eraser and just zoom in and erase that part. So it looks like it's going behind the E. Okay. And now we can turn all three back on. And I just realized I forgot that black line here. And under the Y, I should erase that part there. Wait. That is, the E should be covering that. Okay. Let me erase that. There we go. Okay. So now that we have our hay, I'm going to fix that line right there too. So I'm going to go back to the H and the smudge and just turn that down and just smudge that right there. So there's not a gap. Okay, now I'm going to merge all of those together. And now they're all on one layer. And I'm actually going to merge that together with the Hayward too, so that's all on one layer. And now I'm going to add a new layer, go back to white, and we can add some decorative elements in this H. Again, using any kind of uh, brush that you want. I am still in the charcoals under carbon stick. And Just going to kind of not outline but do an inline. You can do something like that, or let me look at my screensaver again. I forget how I did it. Yes, that's how I did it. Okay, I forgot how I even created it so. I have to take a peek at what I did <laughs> to refresh my memory. So, um, and then we'll take a thin line and go through that again. Of course, you can come up with your own decorations, however you want to decorate these letters. This is just something really kind of simple and basic. You can do stripes or dots or whatever. 
Okay, then um, let me go back to, let's go to a pencil because I want it to be thin. So under sketching and 6B, let me go to black. and add an even thinner line inside that one that we just made. Okay, so that is it for our hay. Now I want to, you know what, let's merge that again so it's all in one layer. And I'm gonna go to the arrow so I can move this up um, because I want June to be right about here. So to write the word June, I'm actually gonna turn this layer off and um, goes to my layer I added earlier and let's go back to white and we're going to pick out a pencil I'm going to go back to charcoals and let's stick with that vine charcoal I'm going to turn that up um, actually I'm going to use a, a lettering brush first because I want to get the thick and thin lines so to do that, I'm going to go to my, um, my favorite lettering brush, which is under um, my Ultimate Procreate Lettering Bundle, and it is the Modern AF Calligraphy brush. So I'm going to turn that size up, and I forget how I wrote that. Let me look at the screensaver again. Okay. Um, I want to have some kind of guides here, so I'm gonna go back to our wrench, turn on the drawing guide again, and hit edit drawing guide. And this time I'm gonna go with 2D grid. Um, and that's on black, so we can't see it. Just gonna put it on some green here, and then hit done. Um, so now I have some kind of lettering guidelines to follow. And just going to write the word June with pressure. So I have thick downstrokes and thin upstrokes. Like that. And again, this is just going to be my template, so it doesn't have to be perfect. So I'm going to lower the opacity on this, kind of like we did with the text. And I'm going to turn off my drawing guide. So go to the wrench, turn off that drawing guide. And let's center this right there. And add a new layer above it. And let's choose our chalk that we want. So I'm going to go with, or what is that, charcoals and the vine charcoal again. I'm going to have my brush at about a three. So what I'm going to do is trace around this, but I'm going to trace my um, down strokes, the thick strokes, and leave those open and do a faux ligraphy look with this one. And then when you're finished, you can delete that template that we had. And on 
this one, I want to add some shading also, like we did with the hay, but instead of making it 3D, 3D, I want to do the shading just inside the letters, like on the tops and bottoms, and have it come together. So I'm going to add a new layer, and we're going to go back to uh, sketching and our favorite bonobo. And I'm just going to do a little bit at the top and a little bit at the bottom on each letter. And go back to our smudge. I'm going to turn the smudge opacity down to like 50%. I'm smudging the top down and the bottom up. Actually, I don't want it to be that close together to meeting each other. Oh goodness, no wonder. <laughs> oh, Kristen, I was, wasn't on the smudge, I was on the brush. I was wondering why that wasn't working. So I'm just doing a two finger tap to undo all the way out. Smudge. Turn that back down to 50%. Turn the size up a little bit. Yeah, that's much better. <laughs> So I work the white up into it, but then I work the, the black back down into it again. So it has a little bit of a gradient there, if that makes sense. And like we did before, we can just go to the eraser and erase around all the parts where we went out of the lines. Okay, and that looks pretty nice. Um, so I think one final thing that I added was I added some dots in here. And I believe I just used the Procreate pencil. Yep. And I have the size all the way up and the opacity all the way up. And then I just added some little dots spaced roughly the same distance apart from each one. Again, you can do something like a line or stripes, and feel free to get creative with your design. It doesn't always have to look like a tutorial. This is just kind of a guide. So now that that's done, I'm going to merge those two together by pinching them, and I'm going to turn my hay back on. And so now I want to make sure these are centered. So let me take the hay and move that over to the center of the canvas until... Um, if you go down to snapping and make sure your snapping's on, and also I always have my magnetics on, you will get um, this yellow line, horizontal, as well as vertical, to let you know when it's centered on the canvas. 
so that hay is centered. And now the June, I want that to be above um, the hay, so I'm gonna move that up. So now it's sitting on top and make sure that's centered. That's the center right there, but it actually looks a little bit better, a little bit to the left, kind of off-centered. My rat's coughing pretty bad. He has a respiratory infection, the poor little guy. Okay, um, so now I'm gonna go here and I want to get rid of these um, 3D parts of hay that are going through June. So I could erase it, but I wanna keep it in case I would ever wanna put like a different word there or something. So to do that, I'm gonna add a mask layer to that. So tap it and choose mask. And again, I'm just going to choose um, a Procreate. I'll just use the, let's go with medium hard airbrush and change the size of that. And I'm gonna start coloring over. Where I want to hide that. Oh, you know why it's acting funny? Because that layer is still unassisted. <laughs> So let me go and turn off, tap that layer and turn off drawing assist. Oops. Make sure you're on the mask layer. And now that is kind of looking like that's coming out of the word June. Um, and now I'm going to select all three layers. So I just did a quick little swipe to the right to select all of them. And now I'm going to center them down on the canvas a little bit more. Right there. And now you can go in and still add some, maybe some more splatter or something. So I would do that in a new layer, again with white, and maybe some, oh, let's look underwater. No, elements, maybe some driven snow. And just add some random splatter just to dirty up the chalkboard. Makes it look a little bit more real. And again, you can tap the end and lower that opacity. Just so it's, it's there, but it's not overwhelming. And then I add a layer and be sure to sign your work and then share it with us in the um, Procreate for Beginners lettering group or the Procreate for Beginners group. And we also have the Procreate Lettering Club group if you're in that. So I'm just going to add my signature there and just kind of move it. Somewhere inconspicuous. And I'm even actually going to make it a little bit smaller. Maybe like right there. And there you have it. So I can't wait to see what you guys come up with and happy chalkboard lettering.